Good morning, my name is Pat Bauman with Stoffers of Kissel Hill. Spring is a great time to get out there in your yard, get the pruning done, so you can take care of the yard and make it look beautiful for the season. Some basic rules of pruning are this. If something blooms in the springtime, prune it after it's done blooming. If it blooms in the summertime, now is the time to make those corrective cuts. Some examples of spring blooming plants are your azaleas, rhododendron, mountain laurel, and your spring blooming flowering cherry trees. Examples of the summer blooming plants would be your summer blooming spireas, roses, crepe myrtles, and Rose of Sharon. <clears throat> this is the time of year you can go in and see the plants and see any defects because there's no leaves on the plants. So this is the time of year you can go in and look for winter damage. Where do I have broken branches? This is the time of year to go in and prune out any undesirable growth. This is the time of the year to go in and prune the plant back to maintain its height, width, and shape. It's also a great time to go in and remove other problems like insects or disease damage. Also, we can make our cuts at this time to re repair and reshape our plants. When you're trying to rejuvenate a plant, bringing it back down in size, please remember this good thumb rule. Never take off more than 25% of the plant. If you take more than that off, then the plant will send out weird growth and misshapen itself as it retries to flush that new growth. So please never take off more than 25%, whether it's a flowering shrub or the trees. Springtime is also a great time to prune evergreens. This time of the year, you can do your tip pruning or your deep thinning cuts to reshape and bring these things back into their beauty. Spring is also a time to go in and look for those defects on our newly planted trees and shrubs we planted over the last two, three, four, five years. This is where we can develop good structure and good strength so these plants add more value to the landscape. Some examples you've got to be careful of are hydrangeas. These are specialty plants that can be only pruned at certain times of the year. You need to know that the variety that you have because if you prune at the wrong time, you lose the plant's ability to produce those beautiful blossoms that hydrangeas are noted for. If you have specific questions on these specialty plants, please contact us. We'll be glad to walk you through and help you out of when to make these cuts on hydrangeas as an example. If you have specific questions on pruning, don't be afraid to bring us pictures of the plants you're talking about. Come and see us here at Stoffers of Kissel Hill. We'll be glad to help you. Thank you.